Today, we're gathered not to mourn the passing of Dr. Hilal Iman, a sad event which occurred 20 years ago, but to celebrate the life of an eminent Ghanaian, a distinguished diplomat, statesman, and above all, a patriot. A cursory glance at his life story reveals a young man who, regardless of the circumstances of his birth, strived for excellence, no matter where he found himself. His short-lived presidency, spanning a period of some two years, three months, had the Herculanean task of restoring order and stability to the nation after the turbulence and tumult of the June 4th era. His best efforts seemed to mitigate what appeared to be a mission impossible. But almost inevitably, the guns sounded off again on that fateful day of 31st December 1981. After the overthrow of the Third Republic in the 31st December coup, to his credit, Dr. Liman remained in the country. And when the political space opened up with the country's return to democratic governance in 1992, he reappeared in the political arena and contested the presidential election of that year, placing third. Dr. Liman had a full and varied life. Ill-fated as his presidency was, he died with the reputation and memory of a decent, honest, patriotic man who did his best to overcome considerable odds. I take this opportunity to assure the family of the late president that his widow, Mrs. Fulera Liman, who continues to conduct herself with dignity as befits a former First Lady of Ghana, will continue to benefit from the care and attention of government. May the soul of President Hilal Iman rest in perfect peace in the bosom of the Almighty.